Uh, let's see. I'll have a grande dark roast with steamed almond milk, please. What about you, Berkey? All uh, right. Yeah, Jeff, how about uh, a venti six long shot Americano extra room? Is that all for today? Yeah. Thank you. That's great. That's 1050. Please drive up to the first window. All right, Berkey. Tell me about your most memorable road trip with Lou Lamarillo while you were at Providence College. A certain homecoming at Clarkson comes to mind. So we didn't play at Clarkson. We played, it was their homecoming weekend. We played at the War Memorial Arena, which is where the Rochester Americans play. And I played there a couple years later playing in the American League, which is great. I got in a fight with Billy Bennett. There's one penalty <laughs> box. You had to get in the penalty box oh, for the guy you fought. Old school, Berkey. One penalty box. And there's this guy, he's about 80 years old, this guy in between us. And Billy Bennett was tough as nails. Six six, ugly. I wouldn't call him ugly to his face, but long hair and missing his front teeth. And I had to get in the penalty box with him. And I thought, okay, we didn't settle it on the ice. We're going to settle it in the penalty box, and he's going to kill me. So I stopped outside the penalty box. I said, we good? And he said, yeah, we're all good. Sit down. <laughs> so <laughs> sat down. <laughs> So we're playing in the War Memorial, and there's like 6,000 people there. It's homecoming. They all got their Clarkston green and yellow on, and we're down 4 nothing after the first period. Lou went nuts in between periods, went crazy, threw his wristwatch, hit a defenseman in the chest, Ooh. Dave Dornsife. He's trying to throw it against the wall, but he hit a defenseman right in the chest. And then so we go out and we tie it up. It's 4-4. And then he called six straight penalties on it. The referee called six straight penalties on us. And we lose the game. So Lou finally, late in the game, said to me, get out there and get a piece of somebody, which he never did in four years. The only time. So I went out and speared somebody and got a penalty, and I was in the box. And and after the game, I'm the last guy off the ice. That's one of my only superstitions. So I look down the hall, and Lou has the referee by the throat. First referee I ever saw with a helmet on. I don't know who started it, but he's choking this guy. And then the guy ends up flat on his back, and he says to the cop, there's a cop standing right there. He looks up at the cop, he goes, that man just struck me. And the cop says, dry up, will you? Like, he could have cared less, right? So I go in the dressing room, I'm like, guys, Lou just hit a rough. And we showered and got out of there in about four minutes. Like, I said, guys, we got to get out of here before they arrest the coach. And we got on the bus and got out of there, and no one was arrested. You ever talk to Lou about that years later? Yeah, he doesn't have a very uh, clear recollection at all about that. <laughs> 